Hey guys, Katherine King here. And I have a fun video. I got my Knowles Farm Scent haul in. Um, so these were May 10th and so far Knowles is the first one. Um, I believe that, so I did all three. Um, Lavender and Speckle should be next. Uh, haven't gotten the shipment notification on that one yet. I must have had a scent um, from Travis that I think he was waiting on scent oils for. Excuse me. And so uh, I think that's why I was in the, the next batch of um, <laughs> packages, whatever, to go out. So I didn't order, you know, a whole ton. So one loaf, I know that's a shocker, right? Not bad, right? Oh, it smells so good. Okay, let's get started. We'll do the loaf first. I got key lime gelato. Of course I would get this one in a loaf. Um, key lime, buttercream, vanilla ice cream, and sugar. So right now, Corinne, my youngest, she's 23. She is in Italy with her dad. And I told her one of the things she has to do while she's in Italy is try real gelato. She's also going to try real Italian pizza because I'm so curious the difference between American pizza and gelato versus Italian pizza and gelato. So, and this is just absolutely fantastic. You know, I love me a good key lime. I would not say that this is a tart key lime. This is definitely a sweet key lime. But you can also get all that other stuff in there. Um, you know, it's gelato. So you are getting that vanilla ice cream and the sugar and that kind of stuff. It was poured on 516, so I think it's cured well enough. I'm still working on my basket of stuff I got from the Round Robin. It's not going well, let's just say. I'll do the review of those empties at the end of the month since I did the Scentsy in the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the brittles. We got Saturday morning, which is marshmallow cereal bar, marshmallow, fruity loops, and fruity pebbles. And you know, I absolutely love a good fruit loop cereal bar. It is, it's fantastic. Oh, and I love these bars, nice thick little chunks here. I'm trying to see if it says how many ounces, five ounces, so. I'll probably go through a whole bar in a warming because I have eight warmers. So what do they usually say? Half an ounce to an ounce per warmer. So fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. To me, it is more of the fruit loops versus fruity pebbles. There is a difference. Um, at least to me, there's a difference. Oh, Butternut came in here. So uh, that'll be nice. Can't wait for that one. Lemon birthday cake, really, really fun colors on this one. So this one's lemon chiffon and birthday cake. Okay, I almost wish the lemon chiffon was a hint stronger. It is a fantastic um, birthday cake. I do like his birthday cake oil, whatever, you know, because I'm sure that there's many vendors for many of the scents. So this one's really good. I just wish it was a touch heavier on the lemon, but you know, I love me some lemon. So next one, Frosted Lavender Bash. Really fun on those colors. So this one is Birthday Cake Lavender, Pink Sugar and Candy Cane. I love a good mint pink sugar with some kind of bakery. So, That's fabulous. It is It is definitely, to me, lavender forward. And you get this like nose clearing with that peppermint and, I mean, it says candy cane, but it's, it's peppermint. Oh, that is so good. Cannot wait to warm that in the bedroom. 610, I'm gonna have to wait a touch on that one. Okay, cheat day. Uh, Lord knows we all need some cheat days. I'm down 21 pounds in three months 
and I have stalled and I hate it when I stall because then it's like I lose the momentum and to me I have a minimum of 10 pounds more to be in normal healthy weight range so it's like come on you can do it you know all right strawberry pound cake sugar cookie royale and birthday cake I'm not a huge strawberry pound cake person, but and this one is strawberry pound cake forward. But I'm always up to try because you never know if I'm going to come across one that I really love. Okay, Wild Berry Bake Shop. And this one is Wild Berry Mousse, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Zucchini Bread. Now I haven't tried much from Knowles. This is my, only my second order and the last time I ordered it was just what was left over on the website. So, wild berry mousse forward for sure. I'm honestly, I'm not getting the zucchini bread. I'm not, I'm not getting the zucchini bread. We'll see how it warms. It might be a light zucchini bread because it is mixed with sugar cookie royale too, which to me tends to be fairly strong. I heart carbs and that I do. Sugar cookie dough bread, fresh baked bread and vanilla custard. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, that is different. V sugar cookie dough bread. Yeah, this is a this is different. Because you get that and I'm not exactly sure what that is. Then you get the fresh baked bread and that vanilla custard just kind of sweetens it out. Oh, that one's going to be fun to warm. Oh, that one's going to be fun. That might actually be a really good mix in if you have like just like a full on, you know, I was gonna say strawberry, but like berry or some kind of a fruit and you wanna bakeify it a little bit, I think that would be perfect. All right, three is company. Three is company is strawberry pound cake. Yes, I tried again. Strawberry patch and cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I love cupcakes at Tiffany's. It is strawberry forward, but to me, this one seems more of that strawberry patch oil versus the strawberry pound cake. And the strawberry patch oil seems really nice. That one's good. I think that's a good strawberry. And then one I got two of is Treats by the Fire. Um, I've had this one before. It's the only one I've had before. Sugar Cookie Royale, Sweet Bakery Dough, Zucchini Bread, and By the Fireplace. That By the Fireplace just adds this additional little smokiness to it. So, so good. I should, showed you the colors, right? <laughs> it, is, it is so fabulous. There's something about that that by the fireplace part, it, it seriously just adds this smokiness to this blend that just makes it epic. <sighs> Man, that's so good. So if you guys have never tried his uh, treats by the fireplace, you really need to. It was poured 6-2, so it was recently poured. <sighs> so good, so good. All right, my sample. Honestly, okay, so I was hoping to get one of those waist knots. Since this is only my second order, I thought, oh, that'd be so fun to get one of the waist knots. I didn't get a waist knot, but I got peach mimosa, which I have no doubt I am going to love. It's champagne, orange, grapefruit, peach, black currant, and agave nectar. I can't wait to get my next two orders. I don't have any of the uh, lavender and speckles. I'm all out and, and I have a ton of second and spruce. Oh, that's different. Is it the current? Oh, the current just adds this 
because it says black currant a different depth to this scent i was thinking more it was going to be like peachy orangey bubbly but i think it's the addition of that black currant yeah it gives it this kind of different maybe it's the all you know could be the agave nectar too i don't know you can smell the peach it's a good peach but i like peach so anyway that's all i got see it's not, not a whole lot but bad right um i can't wait for his next one i'll be placing an order again and um I can't wait to see what all you guys got. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.